Good morning, everybody. Today is the 20th day in the month of May 2022. Happy Friday. Um, it's a pleasure to be here. My name is Heritage Adisa, market analyst at HFM Nigeria. And quickly, as usual, check through the markets to find out what the overall sentiment is in the market, what information is driving prices, how they're behaving, how they're reacting, um, if they provide opportunities, and then how we can take advantage of it. But please remember, this is just a communication material and nothing in this communication contains or should be considered as investment advice or investment recommendation. Users acknowledge that investments in FX and CFD products is characterized by a certain degree of uncertainty and that any investment of this nature involves a high level of risk for which is responsible and like what we have this morning in terms of the overall flow in the market it's a more mixed i will call it mixed because yes mixed but tilting towards the positive side and then let me explain that now, all through the week we've had massive downside in equities massive downside in risk assets in early right and there has been um, on the back of major worries in terms of um, global economic slowdown expected um, central bank tightening massive spike in inflation across the world all of that has seen negative downside for equities you know all through the week and now today we're seeing a bounce right from you know that downside that we had now it's not really a surprise on a friday heading into the weekend after such a massive massive flow volatile week clearly we could get profit taking you know the balance and all of that playing out you know heading into the weekend so there is that apart from that we also had reports come from china where you know they also cut one of the rates to try and support the housing market but right? also a way of supporting the economy generally so that, that also you know saw some upside in equities, Asian equities, right? And that spilled over to European equities. That could also be the reason. But like I said, you can't really take away the place of pullbacks after such moves that we've had, you know, for most of the week. Equities continue to bounce from yesterday's lows, right? Trading in positive regions so far. Most of the bounces are all in the positive side, right? Even US I wanted is up about futures as well, up about 0.71%. Commodities are also mostly higher. Oil prices are down though. Um, oil prices are down mostly over 0.5 percent with wta even higher than that right um the talk has been you know there's still demand worries you know around you know the world talking about even covid cases lockdowns in china even though that is not right now but that's still very much in play well let's see how you know that holds what about the bond yield side bond yields are mostly higher as well in today's session right clearly a sign of more you know positive ease in terms of market environment measures volatility are also lower which also confirms you know the environment that we have so far now like I said, in the currency space or in the currency space, uh, yes, also starting to now show that positive side. So when we started the day, you know, it wasn't really all, all that evident. At, at the start of the day, we had NZD doing well, but AED was lagging amongst the majors. But right now, most of them, the high beta currencies, commodity currencies, prospective currencies are all up on the day. We have NZD card and the AUD, you know, doing well, doing better in today's session. While on the other hand, you have the Japanese yen and the Swiss franc at the bottom of the major. The dollar sits somewhere there in the middle alongside the euro and the pound right um really belly belly chain when you talk about the dollar index just up about 0.11 percent having said that it's important to note that the negatives didn't just disappear right yes we we have strong you know a strong re recovery you know in the markets right now and it could even really play out longer but have it at back of your mind that the negatives has not really changed there was not really any particular market moving you know um headline we could talk about one from china well it's is good but is it strong enough that would have to see but right now yes we can look at what we have right now take advantage of what we have right now but you want to have at the back of your mind that you know the moves that we're seeing right now are just could you know uh, are playing out right now i might not really last if we have any things to tilt back you know the negatives put it back in mind that the negatives are still very much there negatives like global slowdown that hasn't changed and this moves could be simply pullbacks and then heading to next week if nothing has really changed we could resume the selling like that we have seen for the last one week all right now quickly looking at the equity space like i was talking about you know we're seeing that upside this is the us 500 for example we're seeing that push to the upside right up as well on the day this particular one is still within yesterday's range and this was the downside i'm talking about so if you look at you know the moves that we had all through the week right we've just barely found we just found resistance at its 38.2 retracement level very close to this round number 39.5 zero level as well as well as yesterday's highs i mean if we call it profit taking we call it pullbacks it's not really really out of place so i wouldn't really be in a hurry to just jump into buying you know 
um, risk assess right now because I mean it's a Friday markets wrapping up for the week. You know, the catalyst is not really, really all that solid. So you want to be a bit more careful, right? When you have environments like this. Yes, same story as well on the US hundred, US thirty, very similar story there as well, right? All of this just says how about you're more patient and more, you know, cautious of the moves that you're seeing right now. Now on the VIX side, the VIX has also seen some downside as well. This, you know, continuing from what we saw yesterday, pairing back most of the gains that it had for the week, really. But that said, that's a good sign. It's a good sign for equities, um, good sign for risk assets generally. But have it in the back of your mind that, you know, right now, as of now, we're not seeing that strong convictions behind the moves that we're seeing. Now, we could look to pair, you know, hybrid currencies versus safe haven currencies, right? We could look at pairing something like, um, ADJ for in terms of strength and weakness. But if you look at that, you'll notice that right now we found resistance at yesterday's highs at this key round number 90.500 level. Also, let's take this out and let's make it look clear. All right. Okay, now found resistance at yesterday's highs, right? Clearly, not just yesterday's highs, actually. You look at you know the moves that we had. I mean, key area of support, support and resonance, resonance. So despite the fact that we have upside, yes, it's stronger now. You can see what we we're saying, massive chop because we started lower and now we push higher and now we're moving lower again. And it wasn't really far from what we saw yesterday's session. So in terms of convictions, I'm not really, you know, feeling all that confident right now in the kind of moves that we're seeing. Remember, it's not just about taking a trade. It's more about taking a quality trade. So if you don't have anything quality, high conviction, how about you're more patient? That could really, really be helpful for you. You could want to look at um, NZD versus JPO as well. Right, same story there. Yes, pushing up in situation where you can see the chop, right? Just like what we had yesterday. Now it's pushing higher, no doubt, but haven't found resistance as well at this previous lows. Going back to let's see how we can get this out, of my friends. All right, um, okay. Now you look at where we are right trading right now, also in form of resistance and resistance. You could expect sellers, we could see it move lower from here now, not. Moving out the fact, I'm not saying that it cannot break through this retest and push higher, right? That's not the case. Because currently, the sentiment pushes for that. Equities keep going up. We can expect that to happen. But in terms of convictions or uh, confidence level on this, is really, really a light one. Now, we can look at CHF on the other hand as well. And then, you know, pay attention to the same story there. Yesterday, we had that, you know, push lower right in um CTF crosses most of them we push lower later in the day we brought back above it and now we're back above this level now where we're also trading right now is also a form or an area of resistance as well if you look at where we are right now i'm going to take that off let me take this off from yesterday uh, okay so take this off. all right now you look at where we're trading right now also an area of resistance so all these assets yes strength versus weakness but they're running into key areas of resistance and it becomes a little bit tricky to try and jump into um, follow it there, especially when we don't have strong convictions in the kinds of opportunities that we have so far in this decision. Keep it simple, keep it locked. Um, I personally would want to be more patient with what I'm seeing right now. But I mean, if you wanted to take anything, yes, risk on tilting towards, I would prefer to call it a mixed environment, right? But we're having more positive tilt so far this morning. NZD doing well, AUD card not doing badly, while JPY and CHF are on the weaker side. And then look at the equities, they're up, commodities are mostly up as well. That could also support that your buyers for today's session. Now, on the calendar, is really a light one. Um, really, really nothing basic on the calendar. Nothing basic on the calendar. Nothing much, right? Mostly, mostly, mostly life flows. Yes, we had positive data almost across board for retail sales for UK. But I don't think that changes anything really right now in terms of, you know, where the economy is um, right now. But apart from that, really not so much. Yes, we have BOE spill on the wire later, later. That's even done already around 730. So apart from that, basically nothing, nothing on the calendar in the day ahead. So um, it's, to me, it's a mixed one, but small tilt positive. It's a Friday profit taking a very, very big risk that to pay attention to. But um, for now, nothing on the calendar to really shake things up. And then um, AUD is strong, NZD doing okay. Card not doing badly, even though oil prices is being down, doesn't really help the card story right now. And then we have CHF and GPY on the weaker side of the current space. All right, so that's it for now. Thank you very much. Um, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask. I would always do our best to help. Thank you. Do enjoy the rest of the trading session. Bye for now.